coordinates month-end processing to ensure timely completion. Month-end close process, the essential guide. Introduction Of all the processes the finance team covers, the month-end close process especially deserves your attention. If you work in an accounting department you know that financial statements certainly matter, but just as important is a consistent, up-to-date record so no invoices, receipts, or other important documentation get left behind. Accounting teams should review the monthly closing process, develop a checklist of tasks to ensure it goes smoothly and correctly, follow best practices, and use the software tools available to them. This guide is intended to help you jumpstart this journey. What is the month end close? Month end close is the process of collecting and filing all financial and accounting information for review, reconciliation, and reporting at the end of each month. Businesses care about filing their financial statements monthly because it helps maintain a healthy cash flow, facilitate financial planning, assist in making strategic business decisions, and measure progress towards long-term goals. At the end of each month, companies often make sure their books are closed so that the records are set in stone. This task, known as the month-end close process, results in a reliable and accurate accounting system more informed business decisions, stronger visibility into the financial health of your company, easier financial auditing, simplified tax filing. You can be sure at the end of each month that any transactions have fully occurred either before or after the closing and that your month end balance is accurate and up to date. A fully completed set of financials from the previous month can also be used as a foundation for next month's business decisions, as a closing period highlights areas where you can improve. In other words, you are doing a complete review of financial activity and performance for that entire month and have the confidence that the record for that month is unlikely to change in the future. The exact information your closing here includes balance sheets, which need certification and an assurance of no discrepancies, intercompany trade and all the transactions you make with other companies, recurring journal entries to be validated, approved, and posted, a full checklist that we will talk about later. Other relevant documents include unentered invoices, bank or credit card statements, mortgage entries, and insurance bills. Data collection is clearly a large part of the process, and some of the information to collect includes Total revenue bank accounts Financial statements and balance sheets Fixed assets and inventory levels Bank account information Income and expenses Petty cash fund General ledger data the exact approach to the monthly closing process differs depending on the type of business and its specific accounting methodology. And some firms practice the annual version known as the year-end close. The month-end close process, to review, is the act of adjusting entries to correct accounts for the closed period. It's known alternatively as record to report. The staff of the month-end close process Closing the books is a data-intensive task. Start by collecting various data points regarding the accounting period in question. Inventory count. Income statement accounts. Accrued expenses. General ledger. Collect information. Always have a record of daily operational transactions, ideally the moment they're made rather than waiting until the end of the month. Accounting systems aren't homogenous entities. They usually come in modules covering specific purposes such as an accounts payable and an accounts receivable department. Part of the closing process is reconciling all these components together. Ensure that the accounts payable balance, for instance, falls in line with the general ledger. To that end, organize the receipts and write down all your purchases. 
Cross check your records during this step to make sure everything has been paid. For accounts receivable entries, look at all the sources of revenue from loans to invoice payments. Has a customer not finished a payment yet, or have you forgotten to send an invoice? Get those entries sorted out before the end of the month. Reconcile accounts. Reconciling all your accounts is a main step of the closing. Cross-check your account statements with your receipts, bank forms, and other outside entries. Accounts that need this treatment are cash, checking, and savings, prepaid accounts, other balance sheet accounts, petty cash. Reconcile your cash accounts first, which are easier to process since discrepancies and mistakes are apparent when you're dealing with cash. This step also makes you aware of how much cash you have on hand as a business. From there, move on to reconciling balance sheet accounts. Don't forget to review the revenue and expense accounts as well to make sure all entries have been accurately reflected. Consider inventory and fixed asset. Not everything of value in the organization can be set to a cash amount. Fixed assets which can include equipment, property, and vehicles add long-term value to your business. Keep in mind that they may depreciate in value over time. In a similar vein, perform an inventory count every month as part of the close. Are you in need of replenishing stock? If so, how much? Are any items perishable or need replacement? Write up financial statements. Once the general ledger has been updated, the next step is to prepare the financial statements, which can be done either with compiled data in a spreadsheet or automation tools. Topics covered in these documents are typically a summary of the general ledger, profit and loss statements, and balance sheets. The mere act of going over your financial statements can give you intel into what you're buying and whether you're getting a proper return on your investment. They are also an indicator of overspending and other budgetary issues. Organizing the statements is just as important so that you aren't scrambling to find them in the last few days of the month. Most forms of accounting software have features built in for this purpose. Final review. All related documentation is sent to upper management for review. The person reviewing the closing documents is not directly tied with the closing process up until this point and has a chance to look at everything with fresh eyes. The month end closing ends when the previous month has been set in stone and no new transactions are recorded on it. Prepare for the next closing. What have you learned over the course of this process and what can you apply to make next month easier? When you get a fresh start next month, dedicate yourself to building a financial calendar to keep up with the books. Write down deadlines for collecting all the transactions, the receipt and recording of new reports, posting all income and expenses, a general timeline for adjusting the ledger, communicate your plans to other team members involved in the month end closing process to get everyone on board. You can tweak the calendar as time goes on to fit it around your schedule.